Today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, rustic bookcase using yellow pine. I'm not going to show you how to really make the bookcase. It's pretty standard. I use pocket screws to get the uneven tops. I just staggered the boards when a biscuit joined them together and then cut it to the appropriate length. I did the back kind of the same way. I dry assembled it just to make sure everything was right and then I'm disassembling it to put in shelf pins. Um, I used the Craig shelf pin jig. Um, this is the first time I used it. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, simple to use. Um, I made this for a customer and this is what they wanted because they wanted to use it for little knickknacks in their house. So having the adjustable shelves is really a big perk. As you can see I'm using a multi-function slab that I made in another video to use this kind of hold down so it's a little great table. Once I drilled all the Shelf pins, I just reassembled it with glue and pocket screws for final assembly. Um, doing a dry assembly really helps because you get to kind of make sure everything's right. You get a little bit more adjustment and then you can take it apart. If you need it. Here is it all put together. I don't have the back on yet. I was just kind of playing with the shelves, getting the dimensions right. All this was made with reclaimed um, yellow pine that was actually old church pews. It was wrapped in paper. I had to plane off the paper. Um, Vinegar, steel wool, and I'm gonna put a lid on it, set it out in the sun. It's supposed to create a chemical reaction, and then you can age wood with it. We'll find out. For the back, I didn't have enough of the salvaged lumber left to do a full length portion across the back. Um, this piece ended up being very heavy because it's all three quarter inch pine. So I put a, just a little temporary board there and I would just cut them off at staggered lengths all the way around. Yes, I realize it's not everyone's style, but it's kind of a rustic style I like. Didn't have to be too precise, just kind of eyeballed it all and just made a mark with a pencil. Well, I still need to do finishing and a lot more sanding. Um, I finally have a justifiable reason to purchase a belt sander to get some of that paper off right there, so yay. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much done. I've got shelf pins installed to put shelves in. And I know this isn't everyone's style. It's kind of a rustic style, but... It, it's something I enjoy making and it's what the customer wanted, so hey, win-win. Um, sanding, finishing, I'm letting the steel wool and vinegar solution sit out in the sun. I might put this out in the sun to let it get a little bit sun tanned and even put tea on it today. So according to the interwebs, to get pine aged to look like... Um, just old weathered wood you boil up some really old tea or not really old tea really strong tea you boil up really strong tea and then you mix steel wool and vinegar let it sit you can kind of see what it's doing there and it's bubbling and I had it sealed and then I poked a hole in it because nothing was happening and now it seems like it's oxidized oxidizing nicely Okay, so the theory with the tea is it adds tannins to the wood that gives the vinegar and steel wool mixture something to react to because pine doesn't naturally have a lot of that. I have no idea if that's true or not. The results worked, so there you have it. So covered it with that, let it dry, and then I'm going to go back with steel wool. Okay, this has to be one of the cooler things I've ever done. So what I did is I put um, probably a 16 ounce jar full of vinegar, one steel wool pad, and then let it sit 
for a few days. Um, nothing was happening, so I poked a hole in it, and then it just started bubbling and stuff. So it looked like you need the oxygen to make the chemical reaction. This was raw yellow pine. Um, I've got a few places I need to touch up and go back over. I need to mix up more, and just the longer this sits here, kind of the redder and rust color, and it's just... I wish you could see it in person. This is awesome. Um, and so I just brewed up some really, really strong tea and then went back over it just pretty much as soon as the tea had dried. Not really fully dry, just kind of dried to a touch. But here's your contrast. If we can get a good focus. Is you see the raw wood and up there the only thing just tea and vinegar applied to it. And that's just really uber cool. Well, here's the finished project all staged. Um, the picture on the right is the wood up close, and I just, I love it. To get the finish, I didn't really use anything to seal it, but I used um, Pledge Orange Oil Furniture Rejuvenator and just wiped it on there, and that way it can fade out over time if that's what the customer wants so they can keep doing it. Thank you for watching, and hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.